Welcome to episode 10 of the Diamond R Garage. Today we'll continue with our 202 series where we'll look at mobile subwoofers and help you optimize the enclosure for best performance. So let's jump in. The most important part of your subwoofer system is power handling. Now there are two types of power handling, electrical and mechanical. Starting with electrical power handling, you'll see two power ratings that are typically labeled RMS power and max or peak power. Now when choosing the right amplifier to power your subwoofers, we always suggest using the RMS power rating, which is the more important value. The RMS rating is the total amount of power that the subwoofer voice coil can handle. The max or peak power rating is the highest power that the subwoofer's voice coil can handle for only a very short musical burst. Mechanical power handling is the measurement of a subwoofer combined with the enclosure. This is the amount of excursion or in and out movement of the cone assembly without physically tearing the subwoofer surround or spider. Now that we've covered electrical and mechanical power handling, let's talk about frequency response with sealed and vented enclosures. Now please note, we always suggest using the recommended enclosure size that can be found on the product specifications page. To optimize the frequency response, we'll need to tune the enclosure by performing some specific tasks. For sealed enclosures, using a smaller size than what's recommended will provide a tighter response, but you will sacrifice low bass. Going larger can give you deeper bass, but will reduce any hard hitting impact and can lead to sloppy sounding bass. If you're limited in space and need a smaller size, you can help tune the enclosure by adding up to one pound of polyester fiber fill per cubic foot inside the box. This changes the sound by reducing the standing waves inside the chamber and can lower the resonant frequency around two to three hertz, resulting in better sounding bass. For vented enclosures, when adjusting the size, we recommend changing the box volume and the tuning port at the same time for optimum performance. Changing the box size without changing the port configuration can adversely affect the tuning frequency. Like a sealed enclosure, going smaller can give you a tighter response and going larger can give you deeper bass. Now, when tuning a vented enclosure by adjusting the port diameter and length, abide by the recommended tuning frequency. It's typically safer to go lower, but not below the FS of the subwoofer, and not higher than the recommended, because this can lead to mechanical damage. Another thing to look at when selecting or building an enclosure with multiple subwoofers is a single chamber or divided chamber design. A single chamber allows all the subwoofers to play in one giant chamber, causing a coupling effect by combining the acoustical output. Now, divided chamber designs have dividers separating each subwoofer. Single chamber designs are best with mono amplifiers, and divided chamber designs are best with multi-channel or multi-amplifier systems. Finally, to make sure our subwoofers play only bass notes, we suggest using a crossover. To prevent lower mid-range vocals from bleeding into your subwoofers, we recommend using an 80 hertz or 100 hertz 6 dB to 12 dB low pass filter. Many amplifiers have electronic crossovers built in, but you can also make a passive filter using inductors. If using a vented enclosure, we always suggest an infrasonic filter below the enclosure's tuning frequency to prevent exponential cone excursion. Now for more information on infrasonic and passive filters, refer to our support knowledge base. All right, I know we got technical in this episode, but hopefully this video helps you optimize your sealed or vented enclosure for best performance and prevent subwoofer damage. If you have additional questions, feel free to talk with your authorized dealer. They're always happy to help you find the best solution for your system. Or check out our website at rockfordfosgate.com for available subwoofers and subwoofer enclosures. Stay tuned for more videos like this one. You can catch our previous episodes in our YouTube playlist. Hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next video.